So today I thought because it's almost Valentine's Day, we could do a bit of a haul. So I went to this local store that we call the crazy store and I got a few things. I hope you like it. This bag in itself is already a nice thing to use for Valentine's Day. It's funky and fun and it's got all these love eye emojis on it. And I thought it would be real nice to get something in this bag from someone you love or like or a friend. So let's see what I got. Okay, the first thing I've got here is... Ta-da! What is Valentine's Day without a romantic, nice smelling, scented candle? Now let's smell it. And it smells like... No, I lie. It smells like fresh cucumber and mint. Wow. It is lovely. I think it will be a beautiful gift. And it says, life is a wonderful journey. Is it not? Especially if you can share it with someone you love. So that was the first thing I got. Let's see what else I have in my little emoji bag. I bought this is because I have an idea. I thought, what if we take it out and we completely get rid of this? Ta da! Sorry, guys, go away. And we take this little mug and we fill it with a little bit of soil and we plant a tiny, 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 tiny little desert rose in there. So later I am going to do that. And I will show you the end result at the end of the video. So stick around. I love this. Next in my bag, we have, of course, what do you absolutely have to have to have on Valentine's Day? What chocolate? Chocolate. Chocolate. This is like the normal, general, heart-shaped chocolate, but it gave me an idea when I saw the nice red foil. We're going to make something. So I've got here a piece of paper. Let's take this out of the way so you could see properly. And scissors and a pencil and some sticky glue. First you do is you take your piece of paper and you fold it in half. Oops. And then you fold it in half again. So you can decide if you want to use it like this or you want to use it like that. But I'm going to use it like this. So then what you do is you take your little heart and you can either just stick it onto the card like that and then write a nice message or you can do what I am going to do now and I honestly hope my plan works. You trace the heart so you have an idea of the size. Then you open up your piece of paper again. You make a little hole so you can get the scissors inside. And then you cut out your heart. Be careful because it's got to be the right size. So the next step is very, very important. You have to watch very carefully what I do now. You have to unwrap the chocolate and eat it. I don't get to give it away. So you take off the little sticker at the back and be sure not to damage the foil. Sticky, sticky. And then you take off the foil very carefully. It's extremely hot today. So this chocolate is a bit soft. Oops. I might have torn it too much because this chocolate is really soft. And I'll have that later in a moment. Let's give the candle a friend for now. 
Then what you do is you turn your card around. You take your red foil, you pick a nice spot. You put it over the hole on the inside. You can cut, roughly cut off the pieces you don't need. That'll do. And then you can stick glue all over, all around the whole piece. Then you just stick your piece of foil over your hole like that and then we're going to stick this whole thing together so you can put the glue all over to secure that in place and now when you turn it around you have a nice textured red shiny foil heart. And that's it from me. Happy Valentine's Day! Bye,